Good evening, Hemper Spinners. Today we're going to be talking about setting up the Atari 7800, so get ready. Alright guys, so first things first, we are going to go to hyperspin-fe.com uh, and go to the download section, uh, which I'll include in the description below. And you can see there's a number of media files that are already set up for Atari 7800 on the Hyperspin website. If you have access to the FTP, there's a lot more uh, media there, as well as the Emmy Movies FTP. And once you've downloaded all of this, uh, what we're going to do is go to the MU7800 uh, website, which I'll include in the description below. But it's also in the module when you are in your rocket launcher folder. If you haven't realized already, in the module folder, each one of these folders have the auto hotkey and within the hotkey, the URL for your emulator that is supported and the version that it is, is displayed at the top. So we're just gonna go to this uh, MU7800 uh, website and you're gonna download the release. So you now it says here, you're gonna press here to download and you will get started. So we've got everything downloaded now and the first thing we're gonna do is, well, you're gonna unzip the files and you're going to place them in your uh, emu or emulator folder. Uh, and once you've unzipped your emulator uh, and you've got all your files, then you're going to go to HyperHQ to set up your Hyperspin folders. Uh, this will allow you to place your databases, your media, and uh, your wheels. So first things first, you're gonna to go to main menu wizard. You're gonna push the plus sign and you're gonna type in Atari 7800. You're gonna push next a couple times and you're gonna be congratulated for setting that system up. And then you're gonna to go to the wheel settings tab, which is where I'm at here. You're gonna select from the dropdown, Atari 7800. And then you're gonna set up all the defaults here. So I've got execution is hyper launch. PC game is disabled and your executable is going to be your MU7800 uh, your MU emulator, and your game path is gonna be wherever you place your games. Your extension is gonna be zip and A7800, and uh, this here is important if you choose to use playlists uh, down the line. Otherwise, you can ignore that. We're gonna set out everything up in Rocket Launcher. Next, we're gonna go to the Wheel tab, and if you have been messing with the alpha, so as you scroll through your games, after a second or two, your wheel art will sort of fade out, and that's what this is all about. So I've got this set to 0.15 to match the rest of my system. And then the navigation theme tab, we're going to always select the animate out and reload backgrounds, just so when you're selecting through your games, your backgrounds are always refreshing. So there's no sort of a, a freezing look and feel. So this fixes that. And the clone juice parent videos, I you don't need that, but you know since we're here, go ahead and uh, you know copy that. Next, we're going to go to the video tab. This is not needed uh, any longer, but you know since we're here, you can go ahead and map your video folder from Hyperspin and sounds as default and special art if you've got the frame that I've, I'm using on the Emmy Movies FTP that I've created uh, what you're going to do is place the artwork in the location that fits your screen these are the locations that I have uh, set up and I've got A, B, and C special art uh, displayed so next we're going to go ahead and close out HyperHQ because we've got all that set up and we've got all the folders uh, here so you're gonna take that database that you have downloaded from the Hyperspin website and you're gonna drop that into the database folder. You're gonna find the Atari 7800. 
uh, which is here, and you're going to drop that in there. If you've been following my channel, I've got a uh, tutorial on how to create these genres, and you'll basically use done tools. Uh, go and uh, YouTube that, uh, and you'll find a tutorial that I've created. And now we're going to minimize the folders here, and we are going to set this emulator up. So we're going to go to the global tab under uh, Rocket Launcher UI, and we're going to look for MU7800. And we are going to go to the emulator tab. So we are looking for MU7800. And here it is. If you don't see it, you're going to push the plus sign to add it. And you're going to put in the path of your emulator. The ROM extension is going to be zip A78 and 7Z. And your module is going to be MU7800. So once you've done that, we are in business and we are going to the Atari 7800 uh, system here. We've got a couple things to set up here and we will be on our way. So under the settings tab, we are scanning through here. If you haven't been following me already on the rocket launcher uh, setup, you can see all of my globals and it looks like everything is set up to global and skip check is set to false. And the emulators, well, let's go back here. The fade, everything is set to default, so we know that it, uh, the fade in and out is working correctly. And now we can go to, well, let's go to bezels. Bezels, uh, everything is set to default, so we can use bezels for this system as well. Now we can go to the emulators folder, and you're going to set your path to your games by pushing the plus sign. And then you're going to choose the default emulator using the magnifying glass here. Uh, and once we are done with that, we're going to go to the modules tab. You're going to see these are the list of uh, emulators that it supports. We are using the MU7800. So what we're going to do is just check to see if there's any module notes that we need to uh, recognize. If you guys are using uh, the classic version, there's a, a light gun sort of... Uh, setting that you've got to account for and it tells you exactly what you got to do here but basically there's a settings in your app data that you might need to open and uh, modify but you know everything's here I don't have that set up so uh, I'm not going to go through that specific tutorial here because I, I don't have that but it does tell you exactly where that is and you know if you need to use it so uh, you'll notice that the extensions had 7z in it um, that we just said walk through and this is why just in case you need to support that So I'm going to go ahead and close that out and we are going to go to the edit module settings You can see there's no additional settings that we can do other than full screen So we are almost done guys. So we are going to launch the emulator now by pressing this uh, little play button And here's the emulator so all we've got to do is set up the game t uh, path here. You're going to push the uh, ellipse here, the dot, dot, dot. You're going to select the path to your games. You're going to see some folders down here. These are just showing you the, uh, the details of games, etc. Uh, so we are going to just uh, skip over that because that is not really needed here. We're going to go to the settings tab. You're going to select, I've got DX9. And if you choose to skip the BIOS screen on startup, you can just check that. And then we're going to go to the key binding. So what you're going to do is just go down to each one of these uh, that uh, fit your need. Uh, so I've got up, down, left, right. Uh, and then you're going to bind that with the selection that you've got available. So once you've done up, down, left, right, you're going to do fire. You're going to do fire two. And let's see what else. I think there's a start and a select you're going to want to use. And let's see what else. And you might want to do reset just to, re you know, have the ability to reset. But the primary focus is going to be the up, down, left, right, fire, fire two, and the select. 
and uh, yeah, that that is it. So that was what I chose to do, but you know, you can map every single one of those, but those should get the job done. Next we got council, there's nothing here, so that is that. It just kind of shows you the paths to um, your setup. And let's just kind of look through here. Yep. All right, guys, so that is it. You have set up the uh, Atari 7800. Pretty easy peasy, if you ask me. And uh, we will catch you next time.